because I, I, I think a lot of us have some questions, uh, a lot of questions, not just for Donald Trump. I've got no questions for Donald Trump. He's an insurrectionist. There are no questions. He should be arrested today. He should be sent to jail today for insurrection against the United States of America. But I just I do wonder this morning why they weren't better prepared for this. Why weren't the Capitol Hill police better prepared for this? Why wasn't the city of Washington, D.C. better prepared for this? Why wasn't the National Guard better prepared for this? Why weren't law enforcement agencies all across the region better prepared for an invasion, an invasion against the people's house, against the world's greatest deliberative body. And for those of you who have never been up on the Capitol, I spent quite a bit of time there. And even as a member of Congress, I had to have my ID to get in. If I walked across an adjoining street when no cars were on that street, but I didn't have a walk sign, Capitol Hill police would scream at the top of their lungs and tell us all to get back on the sidewalk. When I was walking to a State of the Union address across the street from the Capitol, five Capitol Hill police started screaming at me, telling me I had to clear the area. And yet, yesterday we saw some of these same Capitol Hill police officers. By the way, I never complained when they were tough. I want them to be tough. I want them, I want them to protect the people's house. Mm. Yesterday, we see them patting terrorists on the back. We see them taking selfies with people who are committing an insurrection against the United States of America, politely opening the door for terrorists who had scrawled on the door, murder the media, who had broken through this glass, letting them just walk through, letting these Trump supporters walk through freely and politely opening doors to the insurrectionists and then letting the terrorists walk out of the same capital they had laid siege to and threatened the lives of members of the House and members of the Senate who they said they were coming to get, including Mike Pence. There has to be an investigation. Are there, how many of these Capitol Hill cops are members of Donald Trump's cult? It is How a, many? It is a cult. How many allowed this to happen? And I do want to know, where the hell were the D.C. police? Where the hell was the... How did this happen? This hasn't happened since the War of 1812, when the British stormed Washington, D.C., It's obvious this was coming. Yeah. Donald Trump promised this day was coming. He was he and his golf caddy, Dan Scavino, were putting out videos saying it was going to be wild. January 6th was going to be wild. We were warned that January 6th was going to be a dangerous day, not just in social media, not just in the media, but in our lives. People would come up to me and ask, what do you think is going to happen on January the 6th? Well, what happened was... The Capitol Hill police weren't ready. The D.C. police weren't ready. The National Guard wasn't ready. Nobody was ready. Or was it okay because they are white? I just have to ask. Oh, my God. Oh, please. 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 Because please. No, I don't no, think no. this would have happened with Black Lives Matters protesters. Let me tell you something. We don't have to even go there. If these insurrectionists were black, they would have been shot in the face. And my God, if these insurrectionists were Muslim, they would have been sniped from the top of buildings. So I want to know from the Capitol Hill police, what, what, what is it? Is it just white people? 
Are these Donald Trump supporters? Why do you scream at people for walking across the street three blocks away from the Capitol? Why are you known as badasses around the Capitol? But then Trump supporters come in and you open the fucking doors for them. You open the doors for them and let them breach the people's house. What is wrong with you? I also want to know, are we a nation of laws? Are we a nation of one man? Donald J. Trump called for the insurrection against the United States of America. He called for it. Rudy Giuliani called for combat justice just an hour or two before this happened. Donald Trump Jr said, we are coming for you. That's insurrection against the United States of America. And if Donald Trump Jr., Rudy Giuliani, and Donald Trump are not arrested today for insurrection and taken to jail and booked, and if the Capitol Hill police do not go through every video and look at the face of every person that invaded our capital. And if they are not arrested and brought to justice today, then we are no longer a nation of laws and we only tell people they can do this again. And guess what? This is what I've been saying about Oregon, for about Portland for months, for months. He follows and you encourage more anarchy. It's that simple. Let's bring in four minutes.